All right, Shalom. All praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well through the scriptures. Peace to the 144,000 and the rest of the hopeful elect. The title of this lesson will be uh, called The Effect of Every Vision is at Hand. So I'm going to grab the scripture. It was, uh, what is it? Ezekiel 12. Okay. Um, let me see. Which I could start at 24. Nah, I might as well. It says, for there shall be... Let me start at 23. No. 21. And the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, what is that proverb that ye have in the land of Israel, saying, The days are prolonged, and every vision faileth. Right? So amongst you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans who scoff at the Holy Scriptures, you'll say what? Y'all been saying it's been an end of the day since my grandma named time. It's, it's basically the same thing. I'm just putting it in modern English. That's a, that's a proverb amongst our people. Tell them, therefore, all right, thus said the Lord power, I will make this proverb to cease. And he making it cease. All right. You got the solar eclipse followed by the earthquake, followed by Iran and um, 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 uh, the state of Israel. All right. Going back and forth. All right. You got the, the, the digital ID pursuant to the CHIP and everything I just named is all prophesied in the Bible. All right. See, people ain't, ain't, ain't running around uh, uh, lolly gagging and, and lolly died in that happy, happy, joy spirit they is now. All right. People, people scared now. Let me segue to uh, jump over here real quick. Uh. What is that? Uh, Isaiah 24. And. Uh, Eight. The mirth of tabrets ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoice endeth. The joy of the harp ceaseth. Let me read the next. Um, I'm reading the NLT. Isaiah 24 and 8. The cheerful sound of tambourines is stilled. The happy cries of celebration are heard no more. The melodious chords of the harp are silent, which basically represents that there these are not joyous times. All right. Even look, uh, today is what? April 17th. Last month was uh, March, whatever day St. Patrick's Day on. Right. St. Patrick's Day came and went. Remember St. Patrick's Day used to be a day. Look, people would pinch you if you ain't had no, no green or no orange on. People would be painting they, they, they beers orange. You know, they'll be having little uh, orange or green cookies at the fast food marts or different little gimmicks with orange and green. You have your orange and green, I don't know, latte from Starbucks or something. But I, I had noticed that last month. I didn't say nothing, but I had uh, but I had noticed that a while ago. I was like, damn, you know. St. Patrick's Day just came and went, you know, without a peep. And if you notice, that's been the that's been the trend for all of these feast days and holidays. Everything has been declining. All right. Everything has been ceasing. All right. It ain't got the same luster that it once had. All right. So back in um, Ezekiel 12. It says, tell them, therefore, thus said the Lord power. I will make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand and the effect of every vision. All right. So the things that was written aforetime. All right. Now these things are coming to pass. All right. In our days. All right. The, the, I, I believe it's going to say it in the scripture. It says, for there shall be no more any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. You had all those false pastors telling you to sow a seed. It's your season to be blessed. You know, those various connotations, writing books. Uh, what's the one woman name? Uh, Grace something. The Joel Osteen, T.D. Jakes, Juanita Bynum, you know, Bishop Weeks. 
All right, I can't think of that one. Nan, what's the? It's one woman named Grace writing books. All right, uh, prosperity gospel. That's a vain vision and a flattering divination. See, nobody, nobody, ju nobody telling you the proper judgment. It's all, it's all flattery. All right. You are, you are overweight, obese woman. <laughs> Pass the tumble <Tom> some. <laughs> The Lord going to send you a husband. Come on now. It says, for I am the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, O, rebellia, o rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, said the Lord God. All right. So let me jump to Habakkuk real quick. So this is the, this is the, this is the final generation, man. This the generation where the Lord going to come back. Look at the world. It says what? For in the last days, it shall be like the days of Noah. In the days of Noah, they was given, given and taken in marriage, drinking, reveling, basically doing as, doing as they wilt. Okay? Ignorant, willfully ignorant unto the word of the Lord because Noah was out there prophesying. And they was willfully ignorant to Noah. See, Noah told them something was going to happen that never happened. And they didn't believe. And we doing the same thing. We telling you something going to happen that you can't perceive. We telling you that America going to be destroyed. Because of the wicked. We ain't telling you it's going to be destroyed for no reason. We telling you because of the wickedness. Because of the bestiality that's going on in this place. Because of the witchcraft. Because of the, uh, 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 the murder. All right. Of the so-called Native Americans. And all the, the so-called indigenous people. And for slavery is a recompense for 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 the wrongdoing. OK, but you people can't perceive that. All right. So where I'm at. Habakkuk. Two and verse two. It says. And Yahweh by Shem Yahushua answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables. That he may run that readeth it, reading the NLT. Then the Lord said to me, write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. And that's what our apostles and elders did and their elders before them did. All right. Through the spirit of the Lord, they, they made the scriptures plain. All right. And, and we able to make it plain to give it to others. All right. We out there on the highways and byways and giving it to you in plain English, telling you what it means directly and correctly. All right. With authority. Oh, it can't be. We tell you the mark of the beast is the RFID micro C hip. That's what it is. Now, I know it could be. Well, probably not. It, it is. That's what it is. All right. That's making it plain. People riding the fence, oh, oh maybe uh, don't nothing else fit, fit the bill. For he causeth all, both rich and small, free and bond, rich and poor, to receive a mark in their right hand that they cannot buy or sell, say they got the mark. That word mark is, is uh, karagma, which means physically thing inserted, palisade. All right. A wooden stake is a palisade. All right. And what's likened unto that? All right. When they inject that rice grain inside of you, it ain't nothing else besides that. That's making it plain upon tables that you may run that read of it. So you could it says, I'll read that part again in the NLT. Then the Lord said to me, verse two, write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner can carry the correct message to others. A hundred percent. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. See, the things that we've been prophesying for years, my little tenure, and then my, my elders, direct elders above me, and then the apostles and the elders, and so on and so forth, it, they've been saying the same thing as if a, a broken record. Why? Because it was always for an appointed time. And uh, uh, Sirach, the ninth chapter, says what? Measure thou the time diligently, which uh, I pull this scripture out in almost all my lessons, but it is what it is. I don't care. 
Second Ezra's nine and one. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. So you measuring the time, you look at what's going on in the world and you seeing how the word of the Lord is coming to pass within the world. OK. Uh, what is that? Daniel says the, the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. All right. How does he rule in the kingdom of men? He speak the word and the word is executed. All right. Through the actions of these different elites, through these different leaders. All right. The things that they implement in the earth is not of their own unique, you know, thought process or whatever. The Lord, the, the angels put them thoughts there at the behest of the most high. And that's how he ruled in the kingdom of men. That's how we got the, 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 the cheat code or the, 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 you know, of what's happening through the, through the scriptures. Because he, he said what? Before, um. Be uh, he gonna say what's gonna happen before it happened. Roughly paraphrasing, which that is a scripture. I can't uh, properly quote it right now. It says, "And when thou seest part of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, and we see part of the signs coming to pass. One of the major ones right now on the forefront is the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least being who? Um, um, the state of Israel, that race of people." All right. Amalek. That's what the Bible calls them. All right. And that's like an ultimate one. Uh, the, the, the CHIP, like I said earlier, the RFID, that's an ultimate one. All right. Uh, the, the Bible being outlawed. All right. Slowly but surely, they, they, they're outlawing the Bible. All right. The scripture speaks about the, the, the famine of the word. All right. It says... Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So there you go. This is the generation where the Lord coming back in. All right. When you see part of these things pass, then you know it's the same time when the Lord going to come back. So back in. OK, hold on. Back in. Uh, what was that? Second Ezra, dun 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 dun. No, I wasn't in Second Ezra. I was in Ezekiel. Ezekiel twelve, <laughs> and uh, verse twenty-five. Ezekiel twelve twenty-five. For I am Yahweh by Shimei Shai. I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged for, let me see. For in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it, said the Lord God. Again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say the vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Yeah, see, you, you, what's the sentiment? Oh, that that what you talking about yeah it could be true i could see that happening but if it do happen it's not gonna happen until i'm gonna be long gone it's gonna be my my grandkids gonna deal with that i'm gonna be long gone that's what the the house of israel think when you talk to these jakes these so-called negroes latinos native americans about the impending doom all right you can go into the economy all you want the facts the data the statistics all right you can uh the inflation you can use all the examples that you want, but they don't, they can't see it. It says, uh, verse 28, this is the last verse, Lord willing, I, I close it with this. Lord willing, it was edifying, verse 28. Therefore, saying to them, thus saith the Lord power, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord God. Right, and that ain't the last verse. Back in the Habakkuk, because now you can't even really keep up. It's like something happening all the time. All right. It was prolonged at a point. We sounded like a broken record. The apostles, the elders, the, the, the various different men who've been teaching sounded like a broken record, saying the same thing. But now it's coming to pass what they've been saying through the spirit of the Lord, of the words written in the Bible. Now they're actually happening. And now there's details. 
all right? And now you can't keep up because it's, it's, it's something that's constantly happening, all right? That's why you watch a video, you might have three, four, five brothers do a video on the same topic, but it'll be different details and different facts and information come out because it's, it's that much information to be spoken of. That's how much that's how much this this thing is happening. It's like a it's like a snowball effect. You know, like when you watch the 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 the, the, the snowball roll from the top of a mountain and it just gains speed and, and, and size and it's like a juggernaut and it's just an overwhelming force. That's what the word of the Lord is right now. All right. It Terry. Right. Verse, I read verse two. Let me read verse three. Habakkuk two and three. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. What does it mean that it shall speak? All right. Let me see. Pope. Uh, it, at the end, it shall speak, breathe, all right, excite, inflame, speak, puff, bring into a snare, blow with the breath, all right, and breath is, is likened unto life, all right, to breathe, yeah, breath is, 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 is likened to or it's symbolic unto life in the Bible, in the scriptures. All right. So you can say at the end, it shall become alive. And how is it alive? Because we're watching it play out in real time, in reality. It's happening in reality. OK, so that's how you know we at the end. It says at the end, it shall speak. We at the end and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So, yeah, it tarried or it took a while. As you count slackness as a man, right? It took a while. But then when it came, it, it, it came as a juggernaut. It came and, and, it, and it just it kept rolling. Right. Verse three. I read it in the NLT. This vision is for a future time. It describes the end and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, wait patiently for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. So with that, Lord willing, this was the edifying lesson to those who elect all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha Shalom.